Hi everyone, it's Eric. I'm back to give you an update on my um, Dust to Dawn uh, sensor uh, utilizing the WISE uh, contact sensor which I modified with an extended lead. Uh, removed the reed switch uh, from the sensor, added a couple leads to them. Uh, makes it quite uh, useful in different projects that I've been working on. Uh, my other videos kind of highlighted uh, the start of the uh, Dust to Dawn project. Uh, the reason why I want a dust to dawn switch is uh, I want to utilize it to turn on and off some lights um, outside, uh, not have to worry about a schedule. Um, the schedule seems to change quite a bit based on the season of the year, uh, the long summers and the um, uh, long days during the summer and short nights. Uh, definitely a big difference uh, in the winter here in the Midwest. So uh, what didn't want to rely on a schedule, also I wanted to be able to incorporate it in IFTTT for some other uh, possibilities of uh, utilizing it for some um, other logic that I want to try to incorporate the, the dusk and dawn into. Uh, understanding when it is daylight outside, uh, we don't need to turn on specific lights, so on and so forth. So uh, that's the reason for the dusk and dawn. Um, I originally did show you that I started uh, with a um, trying to couple a photo transistor um, directly onto the um, onto the light or onto the sensor itself. Uh, this photo transistor uh, turns on when it's uh, in the presence of light uh, and turns off when it uh, is uh, is not in the presence of light. Um, that would then uh, complete the circuit on and off with the um, um, sensor itself and it seemed to do a fairly good job but I did have a uh, quite the oscillation problem when it would uh, be low light levels uh, either in the evening or in the morning low light levels. Uh, this uh, sensor would go on, off, on, off, on, off and there was just not a very good way to debounce that um, the transistor from coming on and off in low light conditions. So I kind of scrapped that and I started playing with these um, uh, solar lamps, these uh, little landscape, cheap landscape lights. Uh, they're 97 cents to a dollar. You can get them at the dollar store. Um, then I took the solar panel out of one of them um, and I utilized that solar panel to turn on and off a transistor. Uh, thinking that I would have uh, better control of the uh, transistor, the gate on that transistor being able to control when it comes on and off. Um, it works fairly well. It works better than just having a, um, a, uh, a photo transistor on there. Um, it is buffered somewhat. I've attempted to add some um, couple of capacitors and a couple of resistors and potentiometer trying to find the right balance between when that gate uh, comes on and off on that transistor based on the voltage uh, supplied by the solar panel. Uh, I quickly learned that without a separate power supply to compare to, uh, there's just not a very good way to be able to do that. So I think I'm going to stick with uh, the one of these uh, sensors, uh, the um, I shouldn't say a sensor, one of these uh, landscape lights, solar lights. Uh, as you know, the um, light is off when it's in the presence of daylight and then it turns on uh, when it's not in the presence of any light. I couple that, uh, what I've done is I've actually just coupled that with a uh, photo transistor where I actually attach it with a piece of heat shrink and then the photo transistor is, is connected to my um, sensor. You can see here I've actually just packaged it uh, inside of the container here on this um, on the uh, light itself and I've got this stuck in my landscaping out on the south side of the house where it gets most of the sunlight and uh, currently I'm getting about uh, 15 hours of uh, off time which is uh, during the day and right at about nine hours of on time uh, which is the uh, uh, evening uh, so um, it's working fairly well. Uh, up till uh, last night uh, we had an awful uh, thunderstorm come through here with a lot of lightning and I did notice that the lightning actually uh, did turn this uh, this unit off and back on a couple of times so uh, it really didn't bother me as random as we get 
you know, thunderstorms, it's not really going to bother me. So I think I'm going to utilize this uh, going forward and try to work on this later maybe and try to fine tune this. I might end up adding a battery to this so that I have a voltage I can compare to and put a comparator on there and be able to uh, turn on and off that transistor based on the amount of voltage coming from this um, solar panel. But as you can see in my phone here, uh, this one is named D2D. Uh, it's currently open. And um, when I turn the light off, it should go to close, which then makes the contact to the uh, light, or the, I'm sorry, the um, contact sensor. And then it's also using IFTTT. It turns my outside light on. Uh, and then when I, it is in the presence of light, uh, it goes to the open status. And likewise, it uh, shuts my uh, light off outside. So uh, that's where I'm going to head with that project. Um, also wanted to um, highlight a couple of new projects I'm working on. Um, one of those projects is this uh, smart switch I've made out of one of the um, sensors. Uh, this is just one of those cheap um, switches. Uh, I think they're $1.50 to $2.00. You can buy them. Um, they have LEDs in them and batteries. Um, I stripped the LED strips out of them and of course the batteries aren't needed and all I've done is taken one of my sensors and attached the leads to the switch inside here so that now I can control any of my lights uh, especially in a room uh, when um, I don't have a phone near me or have an Alexa or Echo near me uh, to turn that light on I can have this sitting in the room or I can mount it to the wall or it's got a couple magnets here where you can attach it to a metal uh, refrigerator or a cabinet. And uh, simply now, um, this one is named Switch 1. It is in the open position now. And I'm going to close it. And it should go to close, hopefully. There is a delay with um, IFTTT. Right again, there it goes, it's closed. So, it uh, it does work and I have this connected to a couple of my smart plugs uh, so that I can turn on and off lamps. Uh, that and this project, uh, this is one of those photo transistors connected to a um, um, one of the contact sensors. I've actually enclosed it in heat shrink with a very small hole in it. Um, I am going to mount that to one of my lights out in the family room or out in the living room. That is not a smart lamp so that I can monitor the status of this lamp. When this lamp comes on I want it to be able to turn on other smart lamps or smart bulbs in the house. Uh, so I'm going to utilize this to be able to turn on and off other lamps based on this this lamp status. So uh, it's another project. I'll show you more about that in, in the following videos. I want to thank everybody. If you have any comments, please comment. I'll try to answer them if uh, at some point if necessary. Thank you.